so green tea has um, ECGC, which is again one of these xenohormetic molecules. Uh, let me just explain quickly what those words mean before I talk about green tea. So hormesis is this idea that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Uh, put your body in that heightened state. So exercise, skipping meals, that's hormesis in action. And xenohormetic molecules are, is the idea that, that we came up with, is that the plants will stimulate that. And xeno just means from other plants. So green tea has it, coffee has xenohormetic molecules, of course, red wine. These are the things you want to eat. So green tea actually is very good for you. I try to drink green tea, but not too late because there's caffeine in it. And it actually targets the pathways that are anti-inflammatory, which as we spoke about with aging are very important to dampen. Otherwise you get diseases of aging if your immune system gets over Let's talk about some interesting benefits of using green tea, both topically and drinking it for your skin. And I'm talking about the polyphenols, okay? These are phytonutrients. Number one, anti-photoaging. What does that mean? It means reducing the aging effect on your skin from UV light from the sun. So number one, it can protect you from the radiation from sun to prevent the aging of your skin. Number two, it can increase collagen and elastin fibers. Yeah by suppressing enzymes that are degrading collagen because the chemicals in green tea help suppress the enzymes that degrade or break down collagen and elastin. So that's pretty cool. Number three, it's loaded with anti-inflammatory properties. Number four, and this is cool, it can induce autophagy. We know fasting induces autophagy, but green tea will also trigger autophagy, which is the recycling of old damaged proteins into new proteins. That's why it makes your skin look youthful. All right, number five, it can actually promote enzymes to help clean up free radicals that can damage your DNA. Anything that can reduce the free radicals on your DNA is going to be very beneficial for protecting your skin. It can also decrease hydrogen peroxide too that your body is generating. Number six, it's a potent stress mediator. What is a stress mediator? Well, that has a biological definition, okay? It, there's different definitions of mediator, which in the thumbnail sketch will just help you resist stress. Number seven has the potential for decreasing the risk to cancer of your skin, both melanoma type cancer and non-melanoma type cancer. So drink more green tea, especially when you're doing fasting, because fasting also has very similar properties. So what's good about green tea? Well, green tea, the leaves are left behind. You know, that's really how we drink tea is we don't actually eat the leaves we just leave the leaves behind and let that water basically um, have the tea leaves substance um, absorbed into it well green tea as you probably know it's rich in antioxidants that's why green tea is so good for you uh, and that's why it's so great for your skin and it's great for your aging green tea contains a very small amount of caffeine not a big deal for some people it actually helps them feel a little bit more alert in the morning but the amount of caffeine in green tea is about one half to one third sometimes even less than what you get from a cup of coffee so it's not a huge amount of caffeine you get from green tea and green tea has a mild flavor even so with this mild flavor some people don't like it but in general it's a mild flavor it's something that a lot of people can drink um, and and really enjoy